All right, here we are, day five of our six day Salmon River trip. Sorry, there was no video for day four. We did uh, 23 miles that day and fixed that there. And so it was a lot of rafting, a lot of rapids, just didn't have time to do a video. But here we are at camp on day five at uh, Johnson Creek Bar, I think that's the name of it. Really nice sandy spot. There's our crew over there playing in the water. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon pretty hot we got some people snorkeling uh, other things going on but the geology here is definitely dominated by the Idaho batholith this big intrusion of magma that has solidified into granite um, during the Cretaceous about 80 to 100 or so million years ago um, and that's been the dominant rock type that we've journeyed through on our Salmon River rafting trip um, but we do have some cool things going on right here in camp. So let me show you a couple of the rocks we have um, just eroding from these, these outcrops here. Um, and so we have, it's mostly granite, but in places it appears to be intruding uh, some of the metamorphic rocks here. So you can actually see some banded rock here, metamorphic rock, this would be nice. Uh, and then in plenty of places around here, there's a super, super shiny, reflective rock this is a layered rock um, this is called schist metamorphic rock called schist um, so this is what the granite is intruding into are these presumably older granites or excuse me gneisses and schist these basement rocks and we can see uh, a pretty cool little outcrop here uh, with some really amazing folding going on within the banded metamorphic rocks and then a nice sharp contact here between the granitic material and this older uh, metamorphic rock we can also see this this vein here of granite cutting through uh, and parallel to the layered uh, sediment or metamorphic rocks are running this way this is what we call foliation the layering in the metamorphic rocks and in this case the, the magma has exploited that zone and injected the magma along that plane of weakness. Um, yeah, and then it kind of looks like it kind of pinches out a little harder to see the metamorphic rocks beyond that. You actually get a really, this is a great spot to see. You can see this nice sharp line here with all the moss covering the rock there. What makes geology as you're floating through the canyons a little bit frustrating and a little bit difficult is there's so much lichen and moss growth on the rocks that they just look even from a distance mostly kind of black or or darkish and right here we can see there's a nice sharp contrast between those mossy rocks above and these very clean exposed rocks below and this represents the high water mark again the salmon river is a wild and free-flowing river um, and so it flux its levels and discharge levels fluctuate greatly and so there's high you can see the high water mark also over there kind of staining the rocks maybe about right about there and i'm probably let's see from this spot here uh down to where the current water level is vertically is probably 10 to 12 feet and so you get these really big fluctuations of the salmon river during the spring uh, when there's plenty of runoff uh let's see what other rocks we have here so more more of these these schists here with these really shiny mica crystals um, and the afternoon sun is just sort of hitting these perfectly and then we also have here's something a little different a nice piece of uh of quartz this is just sort of some people call this bull quartz just mostly colorless kind of white um, quartz material presumably from a vein running through the rocks and a couple people have asked me to clarify the difference between a dike and a vein um, and so the quick definition of those would be a dike is a an injection of magma into a fracture and then that magma cools and crystallizes and you'll get essentially granitic like material you'll get a rock that has more than one mineral a vein is a little bit different a vein is uh, fluids moving through a fracture in the rock and then precipitating out some mineral so one one mineral only so it could be a quartz vein could be a calcite vein 
uh, something like that. And so a dike would be magma intruding through a fracture in the rock and a vein would be some type of fluid. Um, let's see, the underside of this boulder has some really awesome banding and folding uh, in the metamorphic rocks. And I think we'll, we'll head up this way a little bit and see if we get anything different. Um, just a really cool, yeah, up here we're getting more into the, the high water mark, the mosses. Um, back here in this cave, we can actually see though, out of the sun, uh, some of the banding. So the foliation of the metamorphic rocks running through here that this granite has intruded uh, into. So just cool geology the whole way through. Uh, just a great trip. Recommend this to everyone. If you can't uh, do rafting on your own, there's plenty of guide companies that can take you down the river. That's our little Groover tent. So this is where uh, we make our bodily waste deposits. Um, I could probably explain more on that, but maybe that's all you need to know. A little hand washing station here, kind of keep the Groover away from the main camp. Then we've got our kind of kitchen hangout area down by the boats. And then looks like some folks have set up their tents up here. And so that's where the, the camping will be. So, but we'll take out early in the day tomorrow. We've run about 75 of the 78 or so uh, miles for this section of the river. Um, so it's been a great trip. One of my favorite ways to spend time with the family and friends. Everyone's unconnected in nature. Like no one over there is saying they're bored. Um, everyone's just having a good time. Um, everyone's connected with each other and with nature and, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So hopefully you've enjoyed uh, a couple videos I've been able to do on the Salmon River, a little bit about the geology, a little bit about rafting and the river itself. One of the few and uh, last free flowing rivers, definitely in the West and just a beautiful, beautiful uh, section of water and canyon. So there you go. Enjoy.